how the Russian master's degree course works look like in Moscow Pedagogical University. Today we're going to talk about it. Hello, buddy, in whole universe. I hope that is fine. And today we're going to discuss about the pedagogy and also about linguistics and philology and constructed languages. So a lot of things of scientific words, fancy words we use today. And it's okay because it is scientific words and they are made for it to be fancy. Yes, <laughs> and, and to, to describe things that are kind of uh, the com complex concepts, okay? Let's dive into it. What do I do? Actually, I need to do... Uh, I have a goal for today. I need to end my my first chapter of the this coursework that I will do. And I have this goal and need to finish it. I will do this. And uh, right now, I want to discuss about it in English uh, with you. Let's dive into it. We have the contents of it in Russian language. By the way, it is for you. You will learn a Russian experience, how it looks like, and also you will learn Russian language, two in one, wow, interesting. Okay, we have the contents, it is uh, Russian содержание, how we call it, also видение, it is introduction, also we have заключение, it is the conclusion, also we have the literature, also we have литература, заключение, uh, in, uh, conclusion, and also we have the kind of results for the chapter number two, results for the chapter number one, it is выводы по главе один, выводы по главе два, глава, chapter number two, Chapter number one. Глава один, глава два. It is actually the our names of them. And then it will be the name of them. Теоретические основания включения цифрового контента в лингвистическую подготовку старшеклассников. Урочная и внеурочная деятельность. Let's translate it. Theoretical, a pro, theoretical basis of основания, actually, it is the reasons. Theoretical reasons of including digital content in linguistics in linguistics uh, preparation of high school students. Ur Urochne, actually, it is inside of the classes, uh, classroom inside in classroom work, and also out, out class classroom work we have there. Okay, theoretical theoretical basis of including digital content in linguistic in linguistics preparation for the high school students okay and here is the inside of the inside of the inside when they do it with the teacher and when they do this without the teacher kind of uh, with their own, okay? It is kind of самостоятельно, we call it in Russia this word, самостоятельно and with somebody else. Самостоятельно actually it is with, uh, with your own, yes, okay? And to have the chapter, the first point, uh, chapter number one, point one. Problems of linguistic linguistics preparation of school, school boys and school girls in digital, digital space. Okay, and uh, what does it mean in Russian? Проблема лингвистической подготовки школьников в цифровом пространстве. Okay, it is, uh, I will talk about it, first we will read it about it, and then we will speak. Next, воспитание познавательного интереса старшеклассников к совершенствованию лингвистич лингвистических знаний в условиях цифровой поддержки. It is the parenting. Raising, raising the cognitive interest of high school students to improve linguistics knowledge in the environment of the digital support. <laughs> you may be right now, what? What is it? Yes, it is. Uh, it, there it is, boys and, and girls. And next, didactические подходы применения онлайн-курсов в лингвистическом образовании старшеклассников. It is didactic approaches of usage of online courses in linguistic education of high school students. Wow. And uh, next. Методика. Методика цифровой поддержки курса русского языка в старших классах. На примере онлайн-курса Канланги «Как правильно конструировать языки». Methodology of digital support of the course of Russian language in high school classrooms, in high school classes. In, on the example, на примере, it is with an example of online course, it's my online course, of Канлангс. How to... 
how to construct languages correct. Yes, it is the conlangi, uh, как правильно конструировать языки. It is conlangs, actually, it is constructed languages. For example, Elvish, Gnomish, and others we have in our life. For example, I have RL language, also Galivar language, and also we have Gora Lips language. Actually, it is my own created languages. And also Forts, Dark Forts languages, and others. Also, we have RL and Galivar and etc. Okay, next. Цель и содержание онлайн-курса по изучению методологии конлангов. Purpose and contents of online course about the study methodology of conlangs for 10th and 11th grades. 10th and 11th classes. 10th and 11th grades. Next. Принципы отбора дидактического материала и типология упражнений для школьного онлайн-курса Канланги «Как правильно конструировать языки». Principles, uh, principles of the selecting and uh, picking, picking out and selecting, yes, picking and call, call facing, call, I think so, and uh, selecting, actually. Principles of selecting of didactic materials and typology, typology of... Uh, Exercises for school online course, for the school online course named by, uh, named this way, Conlangi, Conlangs and how correct fully, co how to construct languages correct, okay? Next, Критерии оценивания сформированности языка компетент... Окей, okay. критерии, оценив... критерии оценивания сформированности языковой компетенции школьников 10-11 классов в рамках онлайн... Классов в рамках онлайн-курса Канланги, как правильно конструировать языки. Criterias of assessment of the form... forming, of the forming, of the already formed... Language competency of school boys and school girls in 10th and 11th classes, I mean that grades, in 10th, 11th grades, in, in the range of online course, in the meaning, in terms of online course, of conlangs, how to construct languages correct. Jesus Christ, what did you understand? You maybe understand kind of maybe something, but kind of what? <laughs> you maybe understood that it is about linguistics and about education and 10th, 11th grades of school. Yes, you understood it correct and then it is all about fancy words. About methodology. Methodology, actually, it is the methods how we teach somebody. Kind of, you said these words, I repeated to you these words. You have the request, I have the response. You have the phrase, I have the another phrase that will be kind of covering another phrase. It is kind of always the chess match, we can say it. Or maybe card deck, we have and we have jack and also queen and king and aces and also some of the diamonds here and also some things like uh, also hearts. And what do you have also in card deck? I I'm not fully inside of it, but uh, need to learn it actually to to memorize them better because we have some of the memory championships uh, around it uh, <laughs> around decks. Okay, so the theory. For first of all, we'll talk about what's inside of the contents. Inside of the contents are these things. Three chapters. We have. Problems of linguistic linguistics preparation of schoolboys, schoolgirls in digital space. What are the problems of the schoolboys? It is the information. Information that sometimes incorrect. Sometimes you need to go to the internet with a knowledge, not for a knowledge. Quote, inter interesting quote. With a knowledge, not to the knowledge. Because you need to search something, you need kind of check the information. Is it correct or not? And you can check it if you already has a knowledge. Sometimes. Sometimes you need to find the specific re reliability, super mega reliable sources of information you need to find. For example, Wikipedia on the technological and chemistry and physics and something like physics, chemistry, mathematics uh, stuff, it will be super super nice and good stuff to relate to, kind of, you, if you will, to rely on. For example, you will go to Wikipedia to learn mathematics. Learn history, it is need to... <laughs> history, it is kind of super mega subjective. Everything is super mega subjective in fields of these features. But in the technical stuff, you can make sure... You, you will be super mega sure that it is correct. Sometimes you have typos. Yes, sometimes you have typos and uh, need to know that there are typos. 
typos actually. So we can create that we have typos typos uh, also we have the problems problems are typos also we have the what do we have we have the sources of information kind of uh, we need to translate it actually in the russian language how we call it the надежные надежные but what is it in english надежные надежные reliable надежные источники информации источники информации See, it is reliable sources of information, okay? Re reliable, I said it correct, Re reliable sources of information. It is next problem, You. it is kind of hard to find them. Typos you can find, typos actually it is uh, not the first. Typos and also the kind of доступность in Russian language we call it. Доступность it is the, do, do you need to pay for it? Доступность it is availability, доступность Availability, availability. Oh Jesus! Avail, availability of sources of information. It is uh, the third problem. We have three main problems. It is about it. It is first. Ah, and quality. Quality. I think so. Quality. Quality of of the methodics and kind of. Quality in the meaning of that it is gathered a lot of good information inside of the sources. For example, you can find a lot of water. Water we call in Russia, what does it mean water in this field? It is a lot of words, kind of. And um, if you want to learn mathematics, uh, we first will talk about the streets and then we'll talk about the stores and about warehouses and also about catering and about things uh, of the different uh, hotels and then we'll talk about multiplication. Yes, it is. And uh, multiplication rules, you know them. You already know them and it's uh, interesting, super fancy and good and nice and actually uh, the multiplication is when you have one, uh, one thing and times something. Okay, and it is kind of a lot of water you have. It is uh, quality of information not super nice but a uh, quality of information when you said that multiplication is, is uh, when you take one number and you multiply to another number it is times something it means that you have 2 plus 2 plus 2 actually it is 2 times 3 yes and it's kind of already quality of information you have quality of information it is another problem sometimes you have this availability of sources of information and typos actually sometimes you have that could be misunderstood if you don't have a lot of knowledge about it all right because if you have knowledge then you will be kind of okay it's nice and you need a mentor 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 mentorship sometimes it is uh, that you need you need a mentorship you need a mentorship in new in the new fields in the fields that are not new for you already familiar you need you don't need super amount of uh, mentorship because uh, google could, could be a mentorship and wikipedia could be but if you are new in this field you need somebody who can say is it right or not for some specific uh, kind of examples okay and we have it. It is problems of linguistics, uh, linguistics, linguistics preparation, linguistic preparation of school boys, school girls in digital sources. Okay, we have the reliable source, sources of information, quality of information, availability of sources of information. You need a mentorship and new fields, typos, and also sometimes we have also some sources of uh, maybe it will be sources incorrect sources. We can say it incorrect. It, it could be kind of uh, super mega incorrect, but actually we'll, we'll, we'll name five things. Next, воспитание познавательного интереса. It is the raising of the cognitive interest of high school students to improve linguistics knowledge in the field of the digital support. What is it? It is uh, you need to raise the interest. How can you raise it? You can raise it by motivation. Motivation first. Uh, motivation... Uh, it is kind of inner motivation and outer motivation. For example, inner motivation. I want it because I really need it. And outer, it is actually, it is uh, motivation to, motivation to, uh, I will call it another way. Okay, it will be better. Motivation to, motivation from. We we have them actually. It is from motivation. We can call it uh, motivation from 
for one moment from motivation and motivation okay do you see it? yes to motivation I even will place it another way I will place I like to first and but sometimes uh, yeah, because uh, it is uh, valuable more uh, to it is valuable more to motivation I want it because I want to achieve something from motivation it is example of them uh, to motivation example I want to achieve it because I will get this I will be skillful I will be nice and uh, next from motivation I I don't want to do another work that's why I do this I don't want to be punished that's why I do this to from motivation it is different types of motivation and it is the kind of knowledge and when to in uh, when to motivation it is what they get and from motivation what will they kind of will run from yes and uh, what will they get if they will not do this and i want to focus more on two because it is more positive sometimes yes it is i think that yes it is not even sometimes it is uh, almost always uh, it is kind of often often and almost always positive and i think that always uh, kind of often 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 guys often positive things of motivation too okay too super mega often a uh, two it is positive i want to do this i want to do that uh, but actually running from something running from problems it is another way of motivation it is it works too but uh, two it is actually the best fuel but from it is uh, of the fear it is uh, you are will be fueled by fear it is from and two it is fueled by the energy of the really really wanting it it is the desire the desire and uh, it is the fear uh, it is uh, by the desire by the fear uh, from it is fear and to it is uh, to get it and from uh, actually it couldn't be uh, actually fear it is different feelings uh, actually but it is from motivation but uh, it works actually for the majority of people on on this earth and uh, on earth it works for everybody almost from motivation because they want they don't want to do this uh, they want to it and uh, they will get this and it will allow them to do something okay didactic approaches of usage of online courses in linguistics education of high school students didactic approaches what are the didactic didactic approaches it is uh, actually of usage it is uh, the different types of connections connections through connections through visual visual audio also okay we can we can make it visual audio 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 also we have audio how to uh, how to write Aud one moment audio information one moment do we have it audio i think that to do we have it or or what audio visual audio and also we have the okay visual audio olfactory we have nose yes also we have the kinetics kinetics Kinetics, kinetical, kinetical, uh, kinetics, I think that, uh, kinetics, it is when you touch something, and also you have the vestibularny apparat, actually we call it in Russia, vestibularny apparat, vestibular apparatus, yes, vestibular apparatus, it is the ways how you see the world, visual, audio, olfactory, kinetics, Vestibular apparatus. Kinetics, it is about the weight. It could be the weight, temp temperature, and uh, kinetics, weight, temperature, and also you have visual audio factor, kinetics, weight, weight, temperature, and you have weight, tak, uh, well, weight, temperature, and also the structure it is the what we can see we can we can touch we can touch weight we can kind of raise it and we'll feel it actually it is connection with the vestibular apparatus it is uh, the sp spatial okay we have the weight we have the temperature we have the structure of of matter and we can 
we can we can touch and we can feel is it a wall is it a floor is it a earth or a, an earth or it is the for example liquid yes or it is the water and structure actually it is about the about the density about the density things and we can use didactic approaches by using these systems of uh, it is systems of inputs that people can see output inputs uh, actually input yes and output uh, we can say sometimes and uh, actually input uh, of the from the source we can we can in we can uh, take it from the world we can uh, feel sensations and didactic approaches it is they are connecting to the visual audio olfactory kinetics weight temperature structure of matter vestibular apparatus and spatial things actually uh, parentheses special things and didactic approaches could be through the questions question one moment actually need to start new questions could be good also some of the games debates also some uh, play right play uh, place i think so yes place in a mini of the role playing could be good questions games debates place role playing also we can use a different pick uh, a Pekka Kucha, Pekka Kucha or something, Pekka Kucha or Pekka Kucha, Pecha Kucha, Pecha Kucha actually it is the, one moment I will translate it, Pecha Kucha, it is, uh, is a storytelling format where a presenter shows 20 slides for 20 seconds of commentary each. At uh, Pecha Kucha night, yes, we have the different styles of them, it is actually the games, the debates, questions and different types of player rights and role playing. It is games, actually, that we use, different types of approaches that will encourage our visual information, audio information, olfactory, inf uh, inf olfactory vestibular and also visual and uh, kind of different types of things we can see through this. Questions, games, debates, plays... Uh, Role playing and uh, different quizzes. Yes, uh, quiz we can add there. And it is about actually it is games. It is all about games uh, and questions we can ask. Actually, it is kind of uh, we can say debates. It is games too. And uh, yes, uh, actually it is questions, games and uh, role playing. It is all about the games, different games that we play. It is actually Eric Burn uh, thing. Eric Burn, yes, one moment we need to check this information. Eric Burn. It is the Eric American author. Is it correct? The people who play games. Eric Burn, people who play games. Games people play, yes. It is uh, Eric Burr, B E R N E. Yes, it is his name, correct way. Okay, we have this, and it is the different approaches that we we use. Didactic approaches, it is actually to encourage people. And what do we, what will we use to, also, what will people listen to? What, what approach should we use to people? What type of questions we should ask? We should ask reliable, or we should ask specific questions that will be in interest of, of our student. For example, we have different interests of the student we have the interests in for example ah why okay we have the interest in okay we have different interests of our uh, students for example somebody will be in anime sometime so, somebody will be in cartoons in total somebody will be for arts for museums for cinema for the for example in music they will be composing writing also in play writing in poetry writing in different types of writing in a meaning of non-fiction fiction also it could be adventure sci-fi or maybe it could be thrillers or it could could be something like children liter literature or maybe it will be specific style of poetry specific like three words in a line <laughs> or maybe rhyme of the a a b b like a a b b rhyme or, or maybe it will be a b a b line or maybe it will be a a a b line or maybe it will be b a a a <laughs> actually line it is different types of poetry actually it is all about combinatorics and okay and uh, different uh, 
different conclusions about this chapter. It will be about that we have different theoretical approaches and need to use specifically by relying on the individuals. We have the we have the individual approach. For example, we need to rely on specific indiv individual interests of the person, individual individual traits of this person, individual qualities, because, for example, he could be from the Uzbekistan, from Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, from the Russia, from Ukraine, Belarus, Belarus from, from the Poland, it could be the student, for, from different points of our country, with different accents they could be, with different dialects, from your country, from Wisconsin, Wyoming, also North Dakota, South Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maine, also Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Utah, Idaho, Illinois, also different places, also they could be from California and from New York, New Jersey, from Massachusetts and different states of America, from Texas and Washington. Washington DC from district uh, this capital yes uh, from great uh, from the great country from the America and uh, it from from America yes and uh, it, uh, he could be from UK from Manchester or from Manchester from uh, the United States it could be and uh, from dif with different accents it could be with different skin color skin color in a meaning of the that uh, it is different types of uh, relationships with people different types of associations because because when we see a lot of black people we have more associations with black people and we will listen to black people more in a meaning of the people because because we we like to listen to the person who looks like we are we we prefer to do this because it is nature of the people we prefer to to listen to the person who looks like we are for example we even uh, we will not consider what we we will not consider the color of our skin yes we will consider also kind of the face uh, and uh, smile and uh, when we smile we like smile when we kind of see the person for example i look for uh, like a jim carrey yes it is kind of uh, right now it's not true but actually uh, I look like Jim Carrey for example and I prefer to listen to him because he looks like me or he looks like my mom or he looks like my father or I if I like my mom that I will do this if I like my father I will do I will like him and uh, the same it is all about different types of permutations that we have inside of our life and didactic approaches it about permutations and applying to the specific uh, kind of uh, kind of permutations that we like and uh, if we like it then we will understand it better it is uh, our motivation will be working better and impact on knowledge will be better. So thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. So we talked about the contents of our coursework. Right now you understand what's inside of it and what we can discuss. Actually inside of it will be different diagrams, table sheets also will be, yes, table sheets will be also diagrams, different types of pictures will be, I think so I will add and also lists, arrays and uh, things of this nature. So thank you a lot for watching. See you next time and uh, thank you for Fiona also for Terry Nason, for Matthew, thank you a lot, for Indonesian people, and James, on, and Jim, and other people, Harold, also, thank you a lot for you, and for uh, everybody in this world, thank you. See you next time.